With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, so our question is, two blocks of masses 1 kg and 2 kg are connected by a metal wire going over a smooth pulley as shown in the figure. The breaking stress of the metal is 2 into 10 to 9 newton per meter square. What should be the minimum radius of the wire used if it is not to break? Take g is equal to 10 meter per second square okay so in the given figure we have been given two masses that of 1 kg and 2 kg connected with a string over a smooth pulley okay now we have to calculate the minimum radius of this wire so that the wire doesn't break the breaking stress of this metal is given to us is let us sigma b breaking stress that is 2 into 10 raised power 9 newton per meter square given to us and we have to take the value of acceleration due to gravity as 10 meter per second square correct now first of all let's see what will happen over here is it gravity mm, weight of the block mass mm, of 1 kg will act in downward direction and it will be how much 10 newtons correct and on the mass of 2 kg the weight will act as 20 newtons correct so the tension generated in the string let us suppose will be t correct now this mass 2 kg will move downward with the acceleration of a correct so the equation of motion for the two blocks will be equation of motion for the two masses will be what for first mass of 1 kg, the tension will t minus 10 as the block two of mass 2 kg is going downward. So, it will go upwards with the same acceleration a, correct. So, t minus a that is net force is equals to mass that is 1 kg into acceleration a. Let us suppose it equation number 1 and for the block 2 kg, it will be 20 minus t will be that is the net force equals to mass into acceleration, correct. Now removing a from 1 and 2, so substituting the value of a in the equation number 2, what we will get is 20 minus t will be equal to 2 into t minus 10. Correct. Now on solving it, what we will get is 20 minus t is equal to 2t minus 20. So 40 will be equal to 3t or what we can say from here is the tension in the string generated will be 40 upon 3 newtons. Correct. Now we have calculated the tension in this string. Correct. Now calculate the stress in this string generated due to this tension. So stress will be force or the tension in the string tension upon the area of cross section of this string. Area of cross section. Now the tension we have calculated as 40 upon 3 newtons and the area of the cross section will be pi r square correct pi r square now if the wire doesn't break so this stress generated will be less than or equal to the breaking stress so it will be equal to breaking stress that is 40 upon 3 divided by pi r square correct now the breaking stress is given to us as 2 into 10 raised power 9 newton per meter square correct so put the value 2 into 10 raised power 9 newton per meter square is equals to 40 upon 3 newtons divided by pi r square meter square correct now from here if we calculate the value of r then r will come as 4.6 into 10 raised to the power minus 5 meters minus 5 meters correct so we have to calculate the radius of this string so this is the required answer thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today